Oh, oh, oh. I've had a lot of brown sugar boba drinks in my life, and this is high up there on the brown sugar richness level. Hi everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every boba shop in the peninsula. So I've already done trying every boba shop in San Francisco, parts one, two, three, four. We've done trying every boba shop in San Jose, parts one, two, three. We've done trying every boba shop in the East Bay, parts one and two. So we gotta give some love to the peninsula side of the Bay Area. So today we're going to be going to boba shops in places like Palo Alto, San Mateo, Burlingame, etc., etc. So if you guys wanna see a part two in this video, let me know in the comments. And if you're excited for this video, give us a a thumbs up and let's head to the first stop. All right, so we just stopped by the first stop, which was Wanpo Tea Shop in the Sanford Shopping Center. And you guys might remember that I actually came here in my trying new boba shops in the Bay Area video, I think a few months ago, and I wanted to get this drink, but they were all sold out of it for a while. So I thought this video would be the perfect time for me to finally try out their brown sugar boba milk, which is what they're known for. Of course, you guys already know, we gotta use our Feed Me Mate glass boba straw. This would be a super great stocking stuffer for the holidays or just a gift for any boba lover in your life or anyone who likes to drink any drinks like smoothies, milkshakes, it works for all of those things. So link will be in the description if you wanna check it out. They said we're supposed to shake this up really good so let's go ahead and do that. Mmm, I do like that brown sugar flavor. When I drink it, there's no doubt about it. This is definitely brown sugar boba because the brown sugar flavor is dispersed really well throughout the whole drink. It's mixed in with the milk and it's coming through in that creaminess. And then when you're biting and chewing down on the boba, you can definitely kind of taste that brown sugar as well. The boba itself is really soft and chewy. It definitely is a bit mushy for my liking. Not a bit mushy, kind of a lot mushy. <laughs> I wish it was less mushy, but it does have a nice chew and a really nice sweetness. So for the rating, I think I would give the drink part, which is pretty much just milk and brown sugar syrup. I do really like their brown sugar syrup. I've had a lot of brown sugar boba drinks in my life, and this is high up there on the brown sugar richness level. So I'd give that a solid 8.5. And then for the boba, I really like how it has a nice rich brown sugar flavor. I like how it's soft. I like how it's chewy, but it's mushy. If it wasn't mushy, I'd probably give it a nine. But since it's mushy, I think I have to give it an eight. There's actually another boba shop at Stanford Shopping Center that I want to try for this video. So let's head back into the shopping center for the second stop. All right, so we just stopped by the second stop, which is called Zero And. It's also in Stanford Shopping Center. And the wait was so crazy. I mean, it is a Saturday, but I literally waited like 40 minutes for these two things. This is actually a pretty new boba shop. And I saw someone carrying this out and I was like, I have to have that. This is called the Coconut Zero. It comes with one whole coconut, coconut milk, and coconut pudding. Basically, a lot of coconut. <laughs> and then they also have like a little cake business. It's called Hanabi. And this one is called the Four Seasons Boba Box. Anything with boba, you know, I gotta try it. I don't usually bring this out in my boba videos, but this thing doesn't really fit anywhere in my car. So this is my handy dandy car table. Link will be in the description. I'm just gonna keep this here as I eat the boba cake. The boba actually comes on the side and they probably keep these in the fridge. If you put boba in the fridge, it'll get all hard. So that's probably why they put it on the side. Oh, 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 oh. Now you can see that boba on there. Can't tilt it too much or else it'll fall. Let's take a bite. The cream looks so light and airy, and the cake looks so fluffy. Hmm. Oh, interesting. The boba on this is actually a really good texture. It's soft and chewy, really, really chewy, but it's not mushy or hard. It's like really good texture, actually. I do like how light and fluffy the cream is, and also the cake is really, really like fluffy and spongy, but there's some kind of flavor in it that I feel like doesn't go that well with boba. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I like them separately, but together, not as much. <laughs> so moving on to the drink, let me take this off of this coconut. Oh, okay, so the coconut is actually empty. So I guess it's like they use a whole coconut in this drink and then they present it in the coconut. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's kind of a slushy-like texture. 
Hmm. Wow, it's super refreshing. So when you drink it, it's actually very light sweetness. I feel like they probably don't even add that much sugar to it because it tastes really similar to just how you would like break open a coconut and you would drink the water out of that. Like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of like a slushy on top. So I feel like they just blend the coconut water with ice and then it becomes this. I don't know. That's all my own speculation, but that's what it tastes like. And for the coconut pudding, it definitely adds a sweetness to it. If you drink the drink by itself, it's not that sweet, but then when you drink it with the coconut pudding, it adds a sweetness to it. It's very like smooth and kind of melts in your mouth. Kind of a similar texture to like really silky grass jelly. I actually really like the coconut pudding. I feel like this drink in the summer would be perfect, like super good. So I think for the drink, I would probably give it an 8.5. I feel like it's very simple, but really good and refreshing and for the topping which is the coconut pudding i'd probably give it a solid 8.5 as well it all just like complements each other really well because it's all just like straight from the coconut and they even give you this empty coconut as proof that they use this whole coconut in here that being said let's head to the third stop All right, so we just stopped by the third stop, which is called Pop Tea Bar. It's also in Palo Alto. It seems like a really nice little mom and pop shop. They were super, super nice and patient with helping me find a drink to order. I asked them what's the most popular drink and they said either the classic milk tea or for the fruit tea, they recommended this mango passion fruit green tea. And I got it with some passion fruit jelly because unfortunately they were all sold out of boba today. Ooh. You can see the passion fruit jelly down there and also some passion fruit seeds. So I'm hoping they use real fresh passion fruit for this. Mm. You do get a hint of passion fruit in there. It's not super, super strong, but you definitely can taste it. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect because I've never had passion fruit jelly before, but it actually has the same texture as like lychee jelly, but I guess it's just passion fruit flavored instead of lychee flavored. Overall, very refreshing. I feel like I don't taste that much tea in regards to the mango part of the mango passion fruit drink. I don't taste much fresh mango, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. So for the rating, I feel like the drink is just okay. It's not anything like mind blowing compared to other fresh fruit teas that I've had. So I feel like I'd give the drink part like a seven and then the toppings it's kind of hard to rate the topping when it's just store-bought because any boba shop can just buy lychee jelly passion fruit jelly crystal boba and all they have to do is scoop it into the drink so that being said I feel like I'd give the topping a 7.5 but I will be back to try their other drinks and hopefully next time I come they have boba because I saw that they offer boba egg waffles and I definitely need that in my life. So yeah, as you guys can probably tell, the sun is going down because I kind of started filming a little later today and the sun literally sets at five these days. So tomorrow we're gonna head to the four stop. It'll just be a few seconds for you guys, but for me, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's go to the four stop. All right, so it is the next day, as you can tell, I think you can tell I'm not in my car and that's because last night I got a flat tire so today I'm filming in mom's car thank you mom for letting me use your car to film so we just stopped by sweet moment in San Mateo and I actually come here kind of often because I really like their fried mochi balls if a funnel cake and mochi had a baby it would be this <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna try not to make a mess because the powdered sugar is gonna go everywhere mm. Mm. It's like nice and lightly crispy on the outside and you get the powdered sugar as well And that's what really reminds me of funnel cake is like the friedness plus the powdered sugar And then as you bite into it, you get the chewy texture on the inside, which is like mochi All right, now let's get into the drink So I asked them what their most popular drinks are and they said anything from their yogurt series So I went ahead and got this peach yogurt smoothie and I also added boba to it And it looks like it comes with some sago on the bottom. Let's mix it up Wow, the boba is nice and soft and chewy, which is surprising because this is a blended drink and usually in blended drinks, boba gets hard really easily, but it's actually a really nice texture. I also really like the addition of the sago and I get a lot of people asking me what sago is and it's basically like small tapioca balls, but they're not really like boba because boba's a lot more chewy. Sago is kind of like so small that it's not really chewy. It kind of just adds like a little bubbly texture if that makes sense. And I've posted some recipes using sago, like mango sago and taro sago. So I'll have those linked in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. And then the smoothie part, it does taste very peachy and also kind of yogurty. It pretty much reminds me of like YoPlay peach yogurt. <laughs> Cause growing up, my mom would buy those big packs of YoPlay yogurt at Costco. There would be like a strawberry flavor and a peach flavor. And this reminds me 
of that peach flavor yogurt. So for the rating, I think I would give the drink part a solid eight. It's very refreshing, but also filling. And it also unlocked a childhood memory that I didn't remember that I had. And then for the toppings, the sago and the boba, if the boba was in a non-blended drink, I'd probably give it like an 8.5. But since it's in a blended drink and it still stayed a pretty good texture, I'm gonna bump it up to a nine. So that being said, let's head to the next stop. All right, so we just stopped by our fifth stop, which was Cup of Blooms. This is also in San Mateo. I ordered their popular Bloom fruit tea and I also added boba. Look how cute this boba cup is. Like I've never seen one like this before and I've seen a lot of different kinds of boba cups. Like this one is kind of a square shape and it also has this little compartment for this fork. I guess it's for when you wanna eat the fruit in the tea, which is very interesting. All right, let's give it a try. Mm, very refreshing. The first flavor that I taste is passion fruit. It's actually very strong on the passion fruit flavor. As I drink more of it, I pretty much just taste passion fruit. I mean, maybe I can taste a small tiny hint of other fruit, but it's like mainly passion fruit flavor. The boba is really like nice and soft and chewy. It is a bit mushy on the outside, but it's not too bad. It's pretty soft and chewy. But the gripe that I have about the boba is that it's like flavorless. Usually you can get a nice sweetness when you're chewing into the boba because most boba shops soak it in brown sugar or honey some kind of sweetener but this one tastes really bland seriously no flavor at all it's all just texture so for the drink i am a bit let down because while i do like passion fruit i was expecting other fruit flavors to come through so i think i'm gonna have to give it like a seven and then for the boba like i said i think the texture is pretty decent but i don't really like that it has no flavor so i'd have to give that maybe 7.5. So we still have a few more places in the peninsula to go, so let's head to the sixth stop. All right, so we just stopped by the sixth stop, which was Tiger Tea and Juice in Burlingame. And I ordered this drink, which is called a potted plant milk tea. Not a lot of boba places offer this. So when I saw it on the menu, I knew I had to get it. And it's also one of their most popular drinks. And also, if you guys want to try making potted plant milk tea at home, I actually have a video on how to make it on my channel. So I will link that in the cards and in the description box. So in the potted plant milk tea, you get a black milk tea. I also added boba. And then what makes it a potted plant milk tea is they put cream on top. I think this one is sea salt cream and then they put Oreo crumbs for the dirt and then they add a little sprig of mint so it's super super cute. Let's mix that all in there. Mmm. The black milk tea is pretty good. It's nice and creamy, but also has a strong black tea flavor. The cream adds a really nice, silky, smooth, creamy milkiness to it. And then you also get the little Oreo bits as well. And I love Oreos. Personally, Oreos are one of my favorite cookies or snacks. It just adds like a nice little flair to this classic black milk tea. The boba is pretty chewy. It's a little bit on the hard side, but otherwise it's pretty decent. It's like not mushy or anything. I think on my first sip where there wasn't as much of the cream and the Oreo mixed in. I got more of that pure black tea flavor, but then as I mixed in the Oreo and the cream, the black milk tea flavor just wasn't as strong after that, which kind of makes sense, you know? So if you like drinks that have a strong tea flavor, then I'd recommend getting the milk tea as is and not adding the potted plant part to it. So I think for the drink, I would give it probably like an eight. And then for the boba, I'd probably give it like a 7.5 just because it is kind of hard. And also this drink, I think they added a lot of ice. So it's actually really cold and it made the boba harder as I drank more of it. So we still have a few stops to go. The sun is going down soon, so we better head over there quickly. So let's head to the next spot. All right, so we just stopped by the seventh stop, which is Society. And this is gonna have to be our last stop because the sun is literally going down as we speak. Daylight savings is no joke, you guys. So anyway, this is the matcha gato, which is jasmine milk tea topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and a shot of matcha. And I also went ahead and added boba to it. It looks so pretty. Look at all the layers and let's give it a mix. Woo. 
Mm, wow, the jasmine milk tea is very, very floral. Definitely as soon as I took my first sip, I could tell it was jasmine. The boba is nice and chewy. It's a little bit on the hard side. And I also think the boba they use is actually like smaller size than normal boba. It's like boba, but it's not mini boba. It's a little bit smaller. I can't get over how strong that jasmine flavor is. It's like seriously so strong. And also I think this is not too sweet as well. I think probably once the ice cream mixes in more and melts a little bit, then it'll probably be sweeter. I do get a hint of the matcha flavor as well but it's just that the jasmine flavor is so strong that's mostly what i taste so yeah i think for the rating i would give the drink a solid eight I think it's pretty good. I'm really impressed with how strong the jasmine flavor is. I know I've said it a million times already, but it's so strong. And then for the boba, I think I'd give it around a 7.5. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and put the overall ratings right here on the screen for your reference. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you wanna be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, boba down, boba down. All right, now let's get into the drink. Oh, oh, something on me. What is that? I don't know. What it's happened? White. Oh, is it powdered sugar? Could be, yeah.